everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, today's video, we're gonna be doing a underrated makeup products. Basically products that I think should be talked about a lot more that I absolutely love and I wanna share them with you guys. So before we get into this video, make sure to click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell as well if you wanna get notified. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Madison89Miller just in case if those notifications don't go out because it, oh, they tend not to go out even with the bell. So if you guys wanna follow me on those platforms, feel free. Now let's go ahead and get on into this underrated makeup product video. All right, so the first product that I have here is the Glow Minerals Camouflage Concealer in the shade Natural. This is like one of my holy grail products that I've been using now, gosh, probably for more than four years, you guys. It's amazing. I have one that always travels with me in my other makeup bag right here. That's why it's used a lot more. This is another one that I leave in my vanity and, this stuff is amazing. It's one of the best pot concealers. It's very hydrating, has great coverage. I use this to cover up any blemishes that I have. Sometimes if I'm running out the door, I'll use it to kind of cover up any like darkness that I have underneath my eyes. But it's so, so creamy. I highly recommend it. You can find these at, where could you, you can find them at like any salon or spas. They always have like a little like kiosk for them there. And also you can order it online. So I'll have it linked down below, but oh, this is one of my favorites, you guys. Perfect for covering up any blemishes. Yes. All right, so next up I have another concealer here for you guys that I don't think is talked about enough. And this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. The shade that I have here is shade light and they also have shade fair. But this one I love to basically, what I do is if I'm running out the door, I'll put this like, you know, in areas that have redness, blend it out with a beauty blender and then put some powder on top and I'm good to go. But I really like how hydrating this one is and it's really lightweight on the skin. So if you don't like stuff that's like super kind of thick and heavy, like the Tarte Shape Tape, that's one of my favorites, but it definitely is a thicker consistency. This one is a lot lighter yet still has good coverage. So I really like placing this anywhere where I need extra coverage or if I'm doing like regular liquid foundation, I'll place it right here, right there, all those high points of my face and then I'll blend it out and it's just really good and lightweight. It doesn't like seep into any fine lines or anything. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. All right, so next up we have a foundation and this is one of my favorite foundations, you guys, you know this. So I actually have two shades. I have, I think it's 103, but the one I have in my hand is 123. And this is the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I didn't even tell you guys what the name of the product was, but this stuff is awesome. I really wish they made more shades for this. They don't make enough and I wish they sold it in store because you could only get it online at Sephora or Nordstrom's and I really wish they sold it in store because this stuff is amazing. If you have combination to dry skin, you will love this. This does not seep into any laugh lines. It doesn't seep into any like eye lines. It just looks so good on the skin. And I do have to say that it doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it has more coverage than a BB cream would have or like a tinted moisturizer. So I think this is perfect for every day. I film with this a lot too, because I just love the way that it looks like on my skin. You guys have seen it in a lot of previous videos of just how good, it just it's very natural on the skin. So definitely check this out if you guys are trying to find a good everyday foundation. All right, so next up we have a bronzer and this one has been used quite a bit. That's how much I love it. This is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer. Love this stuff, you guys. It's amazing. I've used it a ton. I just love the warmth that it brings to the face and it's so natural and it just gives you that really pretty like sun kiss, sun kiss glow. And yeah, it's just really pretty. I also use this a lot on my eyes. I will take this darker part of it and put that in the crease and I'll take the lighter side and I'll put that on the lid to really brighten up the eye. So this is definitely with different ways you can use it. This is another product I don't see many people talk about and I'm just like, why this thing is amazing so yeah i really really like this stuff all right so next up we have a lip product here and this is the bare minerals these are the gen nude liquid lipsticks the one that i have on my lips right now is the shade swag i love these these have a very moussey texture they're very comfortable on the lips they don't feel too drying and they do transfer a little bit because they are kind of like a satin finish, but that's what makes them comfortable and perfect for every day. I really love these. I have this other shade right here, which is called Slay. This one's probably one of my favorites. Let me swatch that for you guys. 
so you can see it right there. Oh, it's so pretty. This is like the perfect like rosy mauve shade, but they're just so comfortable. So if you guys are having like a struggle getting on that liquid lipstick bandwagon because they're too dry, Definitely check these ones out. I think they're definitely worth it. All right, so now we have a primer, and you guys just saw this in one of my recent videos, and I've been in love with it. Oh my God, it's amazing. You saw it in that video, I'm like, whoa, my pores are gone. But basically, this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Multi-Performance Stick. This is a five-in-one complexion perfecter, but this is, how, okay, don't get scared with how dark it is, because when you blend it out, it's going to just kind of vanish a little bit, it just fills in those pores, but it makes your foundation and your pores look so good. And I've been using it every day since, cause I'm just like, whoa, this like beats any other pore eraser primer that I've ever used. So definitely check this out, you guys. This was like a diamond in the rough. I've never heard anyone talk about this. And I was like, yes, no wonder why it had five stars on Ulta. All right, so next up I have a mascara that I haven't talked about at all on my channel, but I absolutely love this stuff. This is the Pure Cosmetics Triple Threat Mascara, and I'm gonna show you guys why. Check out this brush. Look at how fine and small the bristles are on this brush. This is perfect for your bottom lashes where you're not gonna get stuff all over. I always have a tendency to do that. If I have a really fat wand, it's getting everywhere down there. So this just makes it really, really easy and I just love it. I think this is awesome. Definitely check it out if you can but perfect for those bottom lashes. All right, so the last product that I have here is my Givenchy setting powder. And I always say like how I go back and forth between this one and Laura Mercier. But honestly, you guys, if you have more mature skin, if you have dry skin, definitely check this one out. It is amazing. It is a white, loosely milled powder right here. What I really love about this is that it's so much more lightweight and doesn't look cakey underneath the eyes like Laura Mercier can. Sometimes Laura Mercier can get, if you put too much, it can get pretty cakey down here and it makes those wrinkles look worse. This does not do that at all. I know this is a little bit more expensive than Laura Mercier, but I think it's definitely, definitely worth it. I always seem to go back to it and I've already repurchased it multiple times. And again, I don't hear anyone talking about this. So yeah, I really recommend this. If you have dry skin and you're really having trouble finding a good setting powder, check this baby out. I think he's definitely worth it. All right, so these are all my underrated products that I definitely think are worth the purchase, you guys. These are some of my favorite products and definitely check them out if you guys can. I think you'll really, really love them. Leave me a comment down below. What are some of your guys' favorite makeup products that you don't see anyone talking about? Because I would love to get some more recommendations from you guys. And yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, I just wanted to mention too, as I'm starting a new YouTube schedule, it's gonna be every Monday and Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when my uploading times are gonna be. Just to make it kind of easier for you guys to know when to come back and see new videos, so definitely check out my channel on Mondays and Thursdays and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Find a really good hang on. So definitely check this out. If you guys are really uh, find a foundation that's that way go. Actually it is not. It is the one right here. Hang on. <laughs> so I definitely are think that I definitely think I'm like getting tongue tied. So yeah, I'm like, I'm rusty right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, whoo. <laughs> All right.